They're big, brown, and make a mess of things. They have the potential to turn daylight into darkness. They're dust storms. Known locally as shamals, sandstorms, or red air, this phenomenon is common to the Middle East. The number of occurrences have increased in the past few years. Recent shamals sent hundreds of people to hospitals throughout Iraq complaining of respiratory problems. The weather problems are countrywide. Here in Tikrit, the sandstorms are notorious for equipment failure and bringing flight operations to a grinding halt. Captain Timothy Worley of the 10th Combat Support Hospital in Baghdad has more. We have a problem over here with Q fever. Q fever is like Coxiel Bernetti. It's a bacteria that lives in the soil. And sometimes whenever the dust storms do kick up and blow quite a ways, people will inhale this and it becomes a little bit of a problem. Potential contributing factors to the sandstorms are years of drought and lack of farming in areas which expose the sand to wind. But there is good news. And it's definitely treatable, but it's something that we do have to keep an eye on. It's a good idea to minimize exposure to the dust storms by staying inside as much as possible, or if you have to go outside, use eye protection. Reporting from Tikrit, I'm Army Sergeant Paul Days.